21 days ago, I started this process by standing with the team, our student athletes. My priority, I told them that my office door was always open and they responded. I asked them what it was that they sought in a head coach. These are some words that they responded with. Players coach, approachable. NHL experience, the ability to develop players. A communicator, solid schemes. Detail oriented, knows what's going on in our personal lives. A proven winner, straightforward, demanding, a hockey coach. That's what I heard from day one. I'd like to introduce you to your new head coach. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave you guys alone. I'll see you in a minute. All right, uh, first of all, just want to thank all you guys for being part of this opportunity for me. I was like you guys. Uh, I've been through what you've been through, um, and uh, found out at the other end what a you know what a special place this is here. Well, I know it wasn't an easy season, and, and I've been through some of those seasons. And what was really admirable to me was just how hard you guys battled, and and there wasn't a lot of quit there, and you guys kept going, um, and you came out on the right side of it sometimes, on the wrong side of it. Don't lose that. Okay, don't lose that. If you're on a on a team that's winning or a team that, that comes up on the wrong side of it's just not not winning yet. That's that's very very important. And hopefully, uh, from what I've heard, that continues through the spring. I was down in the lounge there and I saw uh, the three pictures up there. All right, okay, three national championship pictures. And I don't know when the next one's coming, but it's coming. All right, and you want to be a part of that. And again, if you spend one hour here uh, with Spartan hockey, you're going to be a part of that next one. So ours. Our goal is that fourth one, and when that comes, it'll be a beautiful thing, and I hope you guys are a part of it. Um, and, and at the end of the day, that's where we want to be, all right? That's where we want to be in that hunt. It's going to be a lot of work. Uh, I'm not easy. Guys here have played for me, okay? But at the end of the day, okay, the juice is worth the squeeze, okay? So um, that's, uh, that's my message at the end of the day, boys. Um, we're going to play like champions, and we're going to play like Spartans. On April 11, 2017, Dan Cole accepted the opportunity to return to a place he once called home. After three visits to the Frozen Four, a national championship, a Stanley Cup, and two gold medals, Cole has returned to Michigan State Hockey. The message for the team was pretty simple and, and you know, the one thing I wanted to convey to them was that, that we were going to go about things in a certain way. Uh, it, it wasn't going to be real tricky, but we were going to be real consistent. Um, you know, we were going to be a hard working bunch, we were going to be a very tight bunch, um, and culturally we were going we to be like the Michigan State hockey teams and the Michigan State hockey program um, that, that I was a part of and, and that it's not that far away, but it was going to take an awful lot of work. Um, and the most important part of all that was the mindset the guys had to have. I think if you try and throw too much at them too early, uh, um, it would have been lost. So, you know, I just wanted it to be, uh, hey, this is the way it's going to be. This is the way you guys have to prepare, and, and, and this is what we want to accomplish. There need to be a little bit of a, a culture change here and kind of a revival of, of the program and to get Michigan State back where it needs to be. The guys kind of came together as like a, a team effort and said, hey, that's, that's going to be our goal. And especially for the three seniors, we kind of got together and coach told us this too, that our efforts to the program would be more off the ice than they would be on the ice to kind of bring that culture back. And we wanted to kind of spark that and be the senior class who was uh, remembered for that. In an effort to restore the strength of the Spartan hockey program, Coach Cole recruited some of his former staff and teammates to join him. There's a few things that are very, very important, obviously, with, with college hockey, and uh, the recruiting aspect is, um, is, is crucial. And, uh, you know, I knew I wanted uh, somebody that had, had been involved with that before. Joe's name been on my mind when we were able to explore that a little bit. I think he fit, fit that role in terms of, uh, you know, his organization, his work ethic, his, his, his loyalty. The type of coach that I am is I'm consistent and transparent. I think that every day I'll show up and I'm going to match the effort that I expect out of the players and that we expect out of the players. 
and details are a big part of it, but also the enjoyment of the game. You better come here with a hunger and a desire to get better, but also enjoy doing that. Because I'm all about enjoying what you're doing, but also selling out and giving everything you have to getting better and also enjoying the process. Like everybody, the end of the games are great, especially when you win, like those 30, 40 seconds and a couple hours after the game are outstanding when you win, but the whole week ahead of it is the most successful and fruitful part of the job. I want to continue to grow and learn the game and being back with him would give me that experience. And the second half of that is this is one of the most powerful and historic programs in college hockey and it's not where it should be, but the opportunity to get it back to where it should be is something that I want to take on and just be a part of. The other component, a uh, guy that I've worked with quite a bit and, and played with is uh, was Chris Luongo and, and you know having a guy that, that's on the ice that understands how I want things run, you know if I have to be on he can take over no problem, um, but doing that, handling the defense, he just he does a lot of good things. Right back for Luongo, Luongo a shot, SCORE! Chris Luongo! Obviously, followed the, the, the program since I left. We all had a tremendous amount of pride uh, as to what we accomplished here. We've got our hands on something that, that means a lot to us, and that's exciting. A little bit daunting from the standpoint of uh, uh, the failure's not an option. There's a lot of new things around campus, but at the same time, it's, uh, the, the environment is tremendously uh, familiar. That's a really neat, kind of a warm, fuzzy feeling, if you will. With Coach Cole and Coach Lou both playing here, they've had that experience as a student athlete at Michigan State. They know what it's like and they can relate to players now uh, and to our team. And you know, the struggles and the challenges that we go through. Now it's to Denton Cole, Denton Cole breaking right in on Hickey, Denton Cole scores! And then obviously their uh, NHL experience, what you can take away from the game from, from those, those two guys and Coach X, it's really second to none and you really just gotta come to the rink and uh, be open to listening and you'll learn a lot. And their personalities are different. I think they're both driven, they're both really passionate. That's, that's probably the similarities, but outside of that, they're different in the way they approach that. And I think that's good for the, uh, for the student athletes to have all three of us made with the same passion for, for what we're trying to do, but with a little bit different personalities because you're, you're trying to reach those guys at all times. The summer was, was was big for our guys. We had a lot of guys stay in town. Uh, they took classes. Uh, uh, they worked out with Coach Workbeck in, in the weight room, uh, skated here. Some guys worked the hockey school. So I think it was a real good foundation, I think, team-wise, culture-wise, uh, having the guys around. Uh, the freshmen have been really influential. Um, they've been eight guys that are they're really tight. I think they've come here with a tremendous work ethic. I think they've come with a great mindset of, of wanting to learn and, and be a part of something great. So um, I think that, coupled with, with our seniors, is, is kind of sandwiched in a really good bunch of guys that, that have worked hard and uh, I think they're trying to prove something. A lot of the older guys were here so that kind of helped right away. By the time everyone got here it was more of a comfortable feeling to walk in the locker room for the first time and uh, kind of know every face besides a couple so it's really nice. It was a lot different than what we had done before and I think for a lot of guys um, New coach, you have to reprove yourself, and even for guys coming back, it's a new slate for everyone. Everyone's trying to show a coach what they can do, and I think um, a lot of guys came in prepared. Oh, oh. 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 Nice. We were doing a lot of new Olympic type lifts, uh, a lot of speed and agility, focused a lot on our sprints, short interval sprints to become faster. That adds into conditioning, and we've, you know, we're a very conditioned team. I think that's helped us so far this year. Let's go! Said that he wanted to play a really fast game. He likes his team to work hard in the off season and not necessarily about being too strong, but being really fast and having all that jump everywhere on the ice. So I think that was definitely something that was a little bit different for a lot of guys and uh, it was the focus going into the off season. Yeah. It was a competitive, hardworking atmosphere, but also I think everyone was kind of eager to learn and kind of let the coaches implement what they wanted to implement. You kind of came in and said, hey, we're not going to ask for your, us to reinvent the wheel here or anything like that. We just need you guys to show up and be able to work hard and kind of let them take care of the rest. And I think the guys really bought into that and, hey, we had one simple job and that was just to show up with a good attitude and an ability to work really hard. So I think we did that.
Each new season has its own challenges. For a young team with a new coaching staff, those challenges can seem overwhelming, but through hard work and proper guidance, the end results can be fruitful. The challenge, especially with the, with the limitations of NCAA rules and practice time, was to, to get this group up to speed uh, as quickly as we could from the standpoint of uh, being coordinated on a, on a system side and also giving us a chance to, to evaluate. What you want them to accomplish is you want them to keep getting a little bit better all the time. And I think if, if, if they set a goal, well, I'm going to score 20 goals this week, this year, or I'm going to score, you know, have 35 or 40 points, and uh, those can get derailed pretty easily. And they, they aren't always reflective of how you are as an athlete. The learning curve is, uh, you know, you think it's a slow climb, but it actually can go up quite dramatically and then it can flatten out, then it can even drop off and then you get back to a slow climb and then a really strong climb. So we're seeing that process and it's important that we, that we give them opportunities to learn and give them opportunities to grow. The insight that, that I'm giving them is based on how to make the game easier for them. And, and that just means we're gonna put them in positions and, and even have them holding the puck a certain way so they can get to the next level of the read that they're making up ice because the things around them are simplified and in the right spots and less of their focus has to be in a certain area because of how they're doing things and therefore more of their focus can be out on the ice and reading more what their opponent is doing because they'll know what their, what their teammates are doing. They have proven to be really quick learners and really hungry and, and I'd say from an information uh, standpoint, uh, sponge-like and, and taking it all in and, and implementing uh, what, we're, what we're asking them to do and, and they've done a great job. And I think the same process needs to, to be going through as, as a team and if we were favored to win the NCAA um, or where we're at right now, um, really the, the, the goal and the process for us uh, doesn't change much. We've got to keep getting better week over week, um, day after day, every day in practice, make sure you're, you're focusing on something that, that we're getting better at. And you go through that process, you'll get better as an individual, we'll get better as a team, but, but you can't cheat that process. And people always want to run ahead of it and do too much. And, and if you try and cheat it, it just takes you an awful lot longer. Their work ethic, which is a common trait we all should have, is very high. But their desire to get better, which is the separator, and the steps you take when you're building a program is as high as it needs to be. And their ability to learn so much in such a short period of time is very impressive. But after all that is said is there is a lot of talent in that locker room, talent that can score, talent that can create plays, but the most important talent that they have is their intelligence. They're intelligent hockey players with skill. And with that, under this leadership of Coach Cole, we can get them the way they need to be. You know, there was a lot of uncertainty going into the year. Uh, we were positive and confident in ourselves, but I'd be lying if I said, you know, you didn't really know what, what to expect. The Spartans begin their season with a home and home series against Bowling Green. After a disappointing opening night, the Spartans had an opportunity at redemption in the home opener. Right off the start with the Bowling Green game at home, you know, the home opener, we really wanted to put on a good show for the fans. I think we had a little bit disappointing season for a lot of us last year, and. Um, coming into this season, we really wanted to have a good start. We were able to win that first one 3-2 in the last minute. Dan Cole gets his first win as the head coach of Michigan State University. Following the victory over the Falcons, the Spartans found themselves in a home-and-home -home series with the highly ranked Western Michigan Broncos. The first step in restoring the program is you know, winning home at Mon, having the um, fans you know, have something to be excited about. It's just more exciting to play when you have you know, those bigger crowds with a lot more excitement. I think so far the fans have been really great with providing us a lot of energy and um, guys are really feeding off of that during the games. The Spartans earned the win at home and then split the series after traveling to Kalamazoo. However, the loss wouldn't keep the Spartans down for long as they looked to host Lake Superior State. I think us team can go anywhere we want to uh, if we, we keep this up and we stay focused and you know focus on how we're winning games and stick to the plan. A lot of guys worked really hard in the offseason and so far it's been 
really good, and you can see all the work that everyone's put in so far. Final score, Michigan State 4, Lake Superior 3. The Spartans will go for the series sweep tomorrow night. The Spartans were primed to sweep the home series, something that hadn't been done since 2015. Be able to win, win those one goal games or what separate the good teams from the great teams. So I think so far this season that's something that we've really improved on from last year and we can uh, hope to continue to improve for the rest of the season. Hiroshi cross ice to Milan, tees it up and a bad save. Oh, now yes! comes back out, shot goal for Michigan State. Mitch Lewandowski with the third chance. I think that was goal. huge. It was an eye opener and we're like, we can be a lot of good teams and I think you get that image in your head like when we play, we can be really good. I think it was really important for us to get those wins early in the non-conference schedule. You know, there's a lot of season left, but I think the biggest thing is just keep improving every weekend, and I think we've shown that so far. We came off two games against Minnesota, lost, and then came back here first night against Wisconsin and lost. And that Saturday night game was a huge, huge game for our team. That was definitely a point where things could have gone south, but we believe in that room. We came back and had a really, really nice Saturday night home win to snap that losing streak. Coach has always been really good at keeping us positive. He was kind of just saying, hey, we, we played a, a pretty good game. There were some spots that we can improve on, but those were top five teams in the country, and there were moments of those weekends where we were right there with them. The thing that's really impressed me with this group, as young as they are, is, is the poise and the resiliency that they've had. I mean, they, they react to situations like a championship team would do, and they're picking up what we're talking about. So um, they've done an outstanding job. They're a, f a really good bunch of guys to be around, and um, every day they show up and work, and that's the barrier to entry to be a, being a good hockey player. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Mon Ice Arena, Michigan State and Michigan. Get ready to renew the rivalry once again for the 316th time. This is the most played rivalry in college hockey. Make sure we move the puck, see what they do. If they chase you out, we do one thing, right? If they chase you out, step up, use a guy quick. If they don't, walk them one way and then go the other way, all right? We'll be, we'll be fine there. Uh, lots of indirects and we're going, all right? Play fast, play hard, play together. So let's make sure, again, right from the beginning here, boys, lots of energy, lots of motion. Everyone's up together, committed, and focused on it. All right, boys? All right, here we go. The Spartans have some make it up to do. Yes. After last night, where Michigan State went down to Ann Arbor and got shut out 4 nothing by the Wolverines. So we have seen this all season long. The Spartans, after a subpar performance, have come back strong every single night. No reason to think that won't happen tonight as well. We are underway in East Lansing. The doorstep shot goal for Michigan State. Beautiful pass from Taro Hirose to Patrick Kornarenko on the edge of the crease. He buried it. On the board first. We talked about that being important here tonight, Scott. Getting one early, getting on first. That's exactly what the Spartans do. Luke Martin on him. Kornarenko helping out. Puck slipped out in front, just out of the reach of Lewandowski. Now to the high slot, Rosberg, yes! shot, goal for Michigan State. 4.9 seconds left in the period. The Spartans get another one. So that will do it for period number one. A good first period for Michigan State. The scoreboard reads Michigan State 2, Michigan nothing. We're good as long as when we go D to D, we get above. We start with, you know, we get it. We start sliding back like this. They don't have to change their neutral zone touch. Get up above him. Then everything happens. Start fast, play hard in the middle. Okay, we're worried about finishing strong here. Real hard in this middle here, right? Don't let off the hook, keep, keep it on the gas, right? In the second period, the Spartans skating from your right to your left in those home white uniforms. High slot, holds over to the right yes! circle, shot, goal! Lewandowski with the one timer, another great feed from Taro Hirose. That is his 10th of the season. He's the first Spartan 
to reach double figures in goals this year. Back into the top of the crease. Letheman kept it out. Shot. And a save made by Letheman. Uh, John Letheman is focused in that net. He's moving well. He's making saves. The Spartans, though, still on the attack. They smell blood in the water. Milan finds a man open on yes! the far side shot. No! Mitch Elliott goes upstairs. 4 nothing Spartans. After two periods of play, the Spartans are in the lead by a score of 4 to nothing. Excellent, right? And they're going to keep coming, all right? Their D are going to keep joining. Layers, back check. Sort it out. Speed then read in those situations, right? You guys got it? Finish this right, right? Like I said, finish strong, bring it back. Start fast, hard in the middle, finish strong. Okay, take care of business. Here. Let's go, boy. The inside Munn Arena, the fans are delighted with what they're seeing. Michigan State leading Michigan four to nothing. Hiroshi sends it back up top to Rosberg to Lambert yes! in front. Shot goal! There it is. Make it a fistful for the Spartans. They're up five to nothing. Student section chanting, warm the buses. And the Spartans will even the series with the Wolverines with a 5 nothing shutout win at home. You know, give, give our guys a lot of credit, figuring out some energy and, and some focus and commitment and bouncing back from a game like that last night, which, again, I've, I've said a lot of times with this group, you know, in terms of as many young guys we have, having the poise and be able to do that. And, uh, um, come out and play a heck of a game. I just I liked the way they skated and, and they were physical and, and shot the puck and you know continue to learn and just, just got to figure out how to you know do that a little bit more often. But uh, but they're getting there and uh, it's a good way to, to finish up here. I mean that's that's a good positive way to uh, close this out here before Christmas. Fight, 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 fight,